So here's how often you can have cheat meals like pizza when you're trying to get in shape. So first and foremost, if you've been struggling to lose weight for quite a while, it's probably best that you sacrifice pizza and burgers and ice cream for quite a little bit. And to give you some context, when I was 220 pounds, I was having several pizzas like this a week. And when I started trying to lose weight, I was trying to figure out how to have my cake and eat it too while losing weight. The way that I have all my clients set up their cheat meals is first and foremost, sacrifice them until the foreseeable future. If you don't learn how to give up foods like this in the short term, you'll never be able to balance it out fully in the long term. I would recommend building the habit of counting your macros and following some sort of easy to follow meal plan until you start seeing the results that you really want. And once you can prove to yourself that you can follow a meal plan, count your macros, and see results in the gym, ideally speaking, you can have a cheat meal like this once a week that can serve as a refeed meal. Then as you start getting closer and closer to your actual goal weight, I actually recommend to all my students to then start getting flexible with their diet versus starting flexible. But remember, health is always gonna be wealth, and the last thing you wanna do is fall into the trap of being too flexible with your diet on a long-term basis.